Hello everyone, my name is Chance Button and welcome back to the StarCraft II Legacy of the Void campaign prologue, Shadows of Oblivion. In the last episode, we managed to save some Protoss from their holding cells in a base that you or in a lab that used to be owned by Narud. And uh, we managed to work our way around the swarm to do that. And now they are honor bound to help us, and we are seeking out a prophecy that will uh, tell us more about the return of Amon, and it is from the place where he was reborn. So we have gone to the Sigma Quadrant, which is where I believe they said he was reborn, and we are now going to fight our way through a load of Taldarim forces that serve him to try and find our way to the prophecy. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now there are three episodes to the prologue, so this is the second of three. Ooh. The tip in the center of the screen says that the surface of Atreus is, a vo is void of Vespine geysers. We must find other means to acquire Vespine gas. A lot of pellet drops, presumably. Although maybe something more interesting. The Temple of Eris. Within those ancient walls lies our last hope. Taldarim, seal the temple. None enter until my work is done. Any who defies my order will answer to their High Lord with blood. The Taldarim High Lord is here. This surely bodes ill. Our difficulties do not end there, Zeratul. This world is in its death throes. The Vespine reserves beneath the surface are turbulent. The planet is in a state of constant eruption. Is that Vespine? That's a lot. These fissures are the last remaining source of Vespine. We will have to brave them to raise our army. I pray this temple of yours is worth it. So are those fissures just going to eject Vespine from time to time that we can pick up? Looks like. Alright, so we need to be very careful. That's unfortunate. The Protoss use a lot of Vespine. But fortunately, we can build pylons and photon cannons without Vespine gas. Zeratul, the planet's core pressure is rising. This counter will keep you aware of the current seismic pressure. Be prepared to move out. I expect a fissure will erupt shortly. Oh, are, are fissures going to erupt all over the place and we have to chase them? That may be. So, we can build defenses for our base using just minerals. We can also construct zealots with just minerals. So then they, they'll be the bulk of our army. One thing that will be good to spend our gas on is upgrades because upgrades just vastly increase the efficiency of our troops and so it is well worth spending resources. Again, these probes are our resource harvesters. They gather them and return the resources to the Nexus. Yeah, but it's just a waiting game at the moment. To see what happens. Fissures are forming in these locations. We will need to move quickly to collect the Vespine. Shadows. Alright, well let's start clearing out some of the enemy forces around where the Vespine's going to be. And let's build a cannon on either s oh, let's build a forge. We need a forge for the cannons. So after the forge is complete, we'll build some photon cannons to defend our base. That's also convenient because the forge is required for our upgrades. Alright, what's the next thing we need to build? We need some more zealots, probably, for the bulk of our forces, just to kind of flesh out our army. We lost a few there. Let's pick up this Vespine and let's hurry our way towards the other fissure. Now I'm worried that if we don't get there in time, the Taldarim forces are going to uh, take the Vespine gas instead of us. Uh, that is a possibility. We'll upgrade ground weapons first for our troops. It doesn't seem like the Taldarim are moving out for that gas just yet. The Dark God has no use for you. He will not suffer you to live. Oh, what's on its way? Taldarim attack force. En route. Quickly. We need some defenses. 
Let's go ahead and build some defenses up here just in case we need them at this top ramp. And then let's focus on actually holding this off. We're gonna need our troops up front and center because we don't have the cannons ready to go just yet. There's not too many things here attacking us. So we should be able to get through this all right. Just gotta be careful about protecting these stalkers from the zealots. Oh, lost a stalker there. Not great. Let's, let's run these zealots around for the void ray. We need some more reinforcements. The Void Ray should be able to clean up the remaining troops, though. Which is good. But those cannons will be vital towards holding off future attacks. In fact, let's, uh, let's maybe get a couple more cannons in here. The Taldorim are mining these rock formations. Yes, I'm detecting a strong seismic reading in those locations. They must hide something of value. We should take a closer look. Additional fissures detected in these locations. Upgrade complete. Okay, priorities. Not really sure what the priority is here. I suppose maybe going to this rock formation is the first thing I want to try. Can we take out... Oh, we lost Zealot. But that's not too bad. We can build some more. Let's do that. Let's upgrade ground armor. And do we still think... We're running really short on Vespine, so maybe picking up those fissures is a better, a higher priority. But let's see about this bonus objective. Now, it doesn't actually say that we'll get anything for the bonus objective, but I figure that it is worth trying anyway. Uh, okay, let's, let's retreat. Let's retreat. Those guardian shields on those sentries are are really causing some havoc here. We could increase we can definitely afford to increase our production because we do not have enough gateways to spend the money that we're getting. So let's build like three more gateways. That might be overkill, I'm not sure. And then we'll retreat our forces all the way back to our defenses so that we can get minimal losses while defending this. There we go, those cannons are really helping tear these things apart. Alright, more zealots. Highest priority. Is that gas still available? The gas is still available for now. I am still worried that it's not going to be permanently available. We will need more Vespine gas to be able to continue with our upgrades though. Which is a bit of a concern. So, next time we venture out, which will be about now I should think, uh, we should go get the additional Vespian gas, because our armor upgrade's about to finish, and when it does, we don't want to delay in getting to the next upgrade. Now, how do we get to the next Vespian gas? Actually, going out the base the other... Whoa, 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 we do not want to attack a full Protoss base just yet. Yeah, going out the base the other way is probably the best means of achieving that. And now we're starting to get to a point where we are getting a lot of zealots here because we have unlimited, well, we have a lot of minerals that we can mine, but we don't have a lot of gas available to us. And I don't know if I finished my thought earlier. I was saying that we have bonus objectives. Additional fissures detected in these locations. We have bonus objectives, but it doesn't say that it'll give us anything. I'm just going to complete it because it's a bonus. And, uh, hopefully, completing the bonus objectives will, in future, give us something. Maybe when the full game comes out, then it'll turn out it gives us extra Tassadar levels or something. I, I think we'll be playing as Tassadar uh, in the main campaign, but I'm not sure on that. Alright, let's upgrade the last shield. Let's get the last shield upgrade. Let's get a couple of sentries, a stalker, and then the rest use the rest of our production for zealots. And now, actually, this other rock formation is closest, so I guess we'll go to this one next. But that uses up just about all of our gas. So from now on, it will be zealots until we can acquire more Vespine gas. Oh, that rock is still a little ways out. Alright, well, we can come up and pick up some more gas at least, and then figure out how to get to that rock. Oh, we're under attack. 
is under attack. Let's uh, let's use a force field to protect our cannons. Oh, this is not good. Can we warp in some additional reinforcements? We can get one zealot. We've got massive supply problems. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. Some of those zealots ran off stupidly and attacked our other defenses when they could have wrecked havoc with our base. Alright, now how do we get to those... Oh, presumably we have to blink stalkers down to those rock formations. There's two stalkers. Let's get these other guys in position. And let's get everybody who's not a stalker and can't get down there out of the way. So we've got a lot of non-stalkers in the way. Alright, focus on that sentry probably, because it's got a guardian shield up. I don't know if a guardian shield will cover air units or not, but we'll destroy it anyway. And then we can focus down these rocks. And our shields upgrade. Ah, a natural Vespine vent. I will have the Void Seeker begin extracting it from orbit. Oh! So, if we get those vents, it gives us a supply of Vespines, so we don't have to rely on just what comes out of the fissures. Oh, okay. That's very good. Now that I know that, this other rock formation is of uh, particular importance then. Because then, if they both give us the same amount per minute, or whatever rate you want to consider, then we should be able to double our Vespine mining capacity. Eruption imminent. Fissures are appearing here. We are... We have actually a lot of excess minerals at the moment. And so, one thing to do is to build some additional photon cannons to help protect the base on this side, because this side's defenses are a little bit weak. And the other thing to do is to build some additional gateways to turn into warp gates, because we could use the additional production. So we'll come back to that in a moment. Now let's move our forces towards the rock formation. We have a lot of troops right now. We can get even more. Uh, we can get an additional stalker and some zealots. That stalker is entirely paid for with the Vespine gas that we have been getting from the first rock formation. Which is pretty nice. Let's also get a guardian shield here just to kind of protect us a little bit. Alright, let's focus down the rocks. Whoa, these are going a lot faster now. We can zealots on it. A second vent has been discovered. Seismic readings indicate one more remains. Oh, Colossus! That's not good. Blink the stalkers so the zealots can get in there quickly and destroy them. Colossus can do a lot of damage to our zealots with their beam attacks. Uh, they are perfectly designed for fighting things like zealots and zerglings that come at them in mass. All right, what else can we get here? We can get a robotics facility. I think a robotics facility is going to be very expensive on Vespine gas, but I think it'll be worth it because it will be extremely useful for us. The robotics facility will allow us to build immortals, which will be useful against all kinds of uh, mechanical ground units. We should also warp in... Oh, we need additional pylons. We could also warp in some additional stalkers to deal with the air. Right now, they're the only thing we have that's shooting down enemy aircraft. Alright, pushing forward. Where's the next thing we want to go to? Probably collect some more Vespine gas from down here. And tear our way closer to the next fissure. Because the fissure... The fissure's our next big priority. Because the fissures give us an unlimited, uh, as far as I know, an unlimited supply of Vespine gas. Um, the only, the only constriction on that is how quickly we can mine it, which is not very fast. But on a map with no Vespine geysers, beggars that makes it beggars, and we really can't be choosers. All right, let's get some immortals out. Those are going to be really useful, and they only cost a hundred gas, which really isn't so bad. That's as much as, like, a century. You have not we could also get a load of other things. 
Might get some Colossus, actually, just because Colossus are awesome. Or Colossi. But, uh, but I don't think we really need it so much. I think Stalkers, Zealots, Sentries, and Immortals, for the most part, then he shall be disappointed. are what we need. And we definitely need more Sentries, I think, for more Guardian Shields. Guardian Shields are very valuable. Oh, what's down here? Another breach is occurring. Marking the fissure locations now. This looks like a great area for some kind of secret or something. But I don't think it's actually useful. No. No. It's not. Dang it. That looked really promising. Okay, we have an immortal. And we are building more. We need more Vespine gas, but we can get a load more zealots. And we are working towards Vespine gas. Oh, we've got some now. So we can build some additional sentries with that Vespine gas. Pushing forward, the next rock formation that we can destroy for gas is up here. It should not be a problem. Let's get some guardian shields up to help limit the damage that we take. Oh, and our warriors are engaging the enemy down there. That was unexpected. Whoa, whoa, I did not mean for you all to go crazy out there. That's a little bit excessive. Hopefully, okay. The enemies we triggered from up here seem to have retreated for the moment. We've lost a lot of forces just now. That is not great. Oh, and we're losing everything over here. Excellently done, Zeratul. The Void Seeker is now extracting Vespine from all three vents. Let's, uh... Quickly pull back. Everything's kind of in disarray. Mismanaging units left, right, and center. We need to pull back our main army a little bit. Because they have gone too far. And our base is getting annihilated. We're calling back some of our troops. Let's try not to lose this immortal if possible, but we need to kill as many of these things as we can. Okay, there's a Void Ray left. Let's morph in a... or war, morph. Warp in a Stalker to help deal with that Void Ray. And maybe another one as soon as we can afford it. We can't afford it just yet. We do have reinforcements on the way. Oh, but don't let the immortal get killed! Don't let the immortal die! Oh, what the heck is that sentry doing? Oh, shield recharge. The sentry... Oh... I didn't see this. Sentries, I'm not used to having them them having this ability. This must be new. So sentries can now heal shield or restore shields. So the Protoss answer to other races being able to heal stuff, the Protoss can restore shields. That is pretty nice. Oh, we don't have a lot of money for anything at the moment. That's kind of unfortunate. I was gonna say let's get a Colossus. But they are quite expensive. Still, we could maybe get one soon-ish. Where do we want to go next? We need more Vespine gas to keep building up our forces. Now, we're getting some from the rock formations. That's nice, but we'd like to expedite matters. So let's go back to where we were just now, because in our haste to retreat, we missed getting the Vespine out of this fissure here. And then there's a fissure not far from that we can head to, but we'll have to fight our way to it. Oh, our, we are losing a lot of zealots to that Colossus. That is not the best. And the sentries are prioritizing healing to attacking, which is also not the best. Oh, let's pick up this Vespine gas, and then let's retreat back to base because... We are about to get hit, and our defenses are not going to be enough to hold. Zeratul, I am detecting another eruption. Fissure locations have been marked. Alright, there's another Vespine breach coming up closer to home. We can get that on the way back out of our base, but right now we really have to retreat. Uh, we are really running out of minerals here. That is not good. Can this Colossus finish quickly? Yes, it can, but we need to retreat it because otherwise it is going to die. Oh, we're gonna keep going, keep going. Get out of the way, get out of the way. No! We're gonna lose this Colossus because this carrier is gonna shoot it down. Quickly, warp in something else. No! That 
Colossus was really expensive and absolutely useless because it died right away. Okay, let's pop Guardian Shields to help protect our units a little bit. Let's blink the Stalkers up so that they are closer and in range of things, and more importantly, out of the way of the Zealots. Okay, that's not too bad. We tore through that pretty well. The major problem here is that we are out of resources. And not even Vespian gas, but we're getting out of minerals. Next thing we need to do, and probably something we should have done sooner... Uh, core rupturing? Is that what it always says? Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. The next thing we need to do, and what we probably should have done a lot sooner, is take this Protoss base in the center. Because... What unit has a barrier ability? Oh yeah, the Colossus, uh, the Immortal has that now. All right, we need to take this Protoss base so that we can mine from it, if at all possible. So we will, we will see if we have what we need to take it out, and we may, we will have to do some long distance mining here in order to be able to afford to rebuild a, uh, a Nexus closer. But we seem to be taking care of most of the enemy forces, which is pretty good. Let's get our probes and send them up here to gather some minerals. We need 400 minerals to build a Nexus, we don't have it. So we're gonna have to mine the minerals up here with our probes and then send them back to our home base uh, to collect the minerals. That's uh, what I mean when I say long distance mining. But when we've gathered enough minerals, we can build a nexus here in place of the Taldarine nexus, and then have just a normal harvesting setup. Okay, and that clears out the base here. Alright, let's keep our forces near home here. Maybe we could run we could run a zealot out, I suppose, to go collect some of this Vespin down here. And we'll just leave our forces up where they can defend this base if need be. And also we don't want to push right now because with minimal forces we'll take heavy losses if we try and push. So we're gonna want to get this mining base up and running. Oh great, we have to go defend that. We want to get this mining base up and running as quickly as possible and then start building our forces back up. Let's get down here before they can do too much damage to us. We're gonna lose a significant amount here, but we do have enough to stop this, I believe. I was probably a little premature with those guardian shields. I don't think it'll help against the zealots. Can we take out that Void Ray? Yes, we can. And the Immortals should just rip through the Stalkers. Eruption imminent. Fissures are appearing here. Okay, now we have an army of mostly sentries, which is not ideal. But we can't really do much about that just yet. Let's keep our forces kind of between the bases. Maybe more towards this new base, because that's going to be our, our main center of operations. And as soon as some of these probes get back home, we'll have enough minerals to build a nexus. So we'll leave one probe behind here so that he can immediately build a nexus now that we can afford it. And that will greatly speed up our mining. So now we'll just have all of our probes uh, sit and wait for this nexus. Because I don't want them running back and forth too much. They're in danger when they're outside of our base. I want them up in one spot where our army can protect them and also I don't want to wait on them to have to return before they can start mining as soon as this nexus is done. So just leave all the probes up here and wait for the nexus to finish. Oh, the nexus is finishing. Thank goodness. It's really hard. It needs focus. No! No! Josh, no! The probes! We, we can't defend... No! No! This is too much! This is too much! What the heck?!
Okay. We can't st stop this from happening. This is lost. This is lost. Need to return. Maybe load last checkpoint, see where that puts us. So, did not have enough troops to uh, take over that base and hold it long enough to reestablish mining. This is not far enough back. So, we're going to have to um, restart the mission, unfortunately. Oh, gosh. So, the big problem there was I wasn't paying attention to how many minerals were in the main base. And, more importantly, when we were going to run out of minerals. I should have gone to take the the, uh, the other Protoss ba mining base sooner so that we could have started mining it before we ran out of minerals in our main base and always been able to support our army. Uh, but I didn't, so we died. Okay, so having captured the first two vents and a couple of uh, Vespian uh, gas fissures, I am now going to attack the other base. We still have plenty of minerals. We can still easily support our army, but we will move towards the enemy base to prevent the disaster that happened last time of running completely out of resources. And let's make sure that the stalkers are behind the zealots. Stalkers always should be behind the Zealots. And let's get some Guardian Shields up. Should have done that a little bit sooner. Guardian Shield will help keep us protected from enemy projectiles. Make sure our Stalkers are always in the middle of the fray. Well, I mean, always where they can be optimally firing into the fray. And just tear down this base, which really isn't uh, as hard as I thought it was going to be. I should have attacked it a lot sooner. It's obviously supposed to be attacked a lot sooner so that you don't run out of resources. Alright, now while we, build, while we get a probe up there to deal with that, we can clear out some of these standing Taldarim forces and work our way closer to some vents. We have full upgrades at the moment. We have full upgrades at the moment. Uh, which is very useful. Let's build a couple more pylons. Let's build them in the new base so that we can warp here and so that we can con uh, construct some photon cannons. Oh, we need to get our army back immediately to help deal with that void ray uh, as soon as possible. Come on. Well, actually, it's not all that dang- that void ray is not actually all that dangerous at the moment, but we'll kill it as soon as possible anyway. Ah, now those Colossi, on the other hand, are a little bit more dangerous. Let's, uh, let's back out except for this Void Ray. Let the Void Ray deal with those guys a little bit. Oh, but it's getting shot by the cannon, so we have to pull it back. But I think they're coming around where the rest of our army can destroy them. Yes! So charge into the Colossi. And just take them down as quickly as possible. Nice, nice. And we will keep our army pushing out as we were before. And when we wipe out this base, we could also set up a mining base here and have three mining bases, which would be wonderful. That could really help us in building up a massive army. Oh, there's a, an attack force moving in on our base. Let's get back to where we can defend that. Oh, they're coming up to this base. That's even worse than going down to our main base. We need to get up there as quickly as possible. Maybe warp in some units to help deal with this. Hopefully they won't be able to bring down the Nexus. Oh no, yeah, we got this. We just managed to get here in time to support. And our Void Ray is still not dead, which is very impressive. Let's get some more sentries into the mix to restore shields and uh, be available if we need them. We could get some Archons. Archons would be pretty cool. For that, we'd need a Templar Archives. Let's, let's do that. And it looks like we need some more Zealots. But rather than buy some more Zealots right away, I think 
wait a moment so that we can afford some other things. Let's get some immortals into the mix. And when that Templar Archives finishes, we can build some Templars. And uh, they will be nice to have. Because, or, well, then we can use them to build Archons, which is why I say they'll be nice to have. So, two High Templars, that's one Archon. And those Archons, those Archons are going to be really important, because right now our Zealots are dying a lot, because they're the main front soldier of our army. The Archons will be a much beefier uh, unit to put at the front of our army. Although, more expensive. And we have a ton of extra minerals. So we'll construct some additional pylons, because apparently we need those. We always need to construct additional pylons. Number one rule of Protoss in StarCraft, must construct additional pylons. These stalkers keep wanting to run to the front of the army, which is really bad, because they're not supposed to be there. And our army is almost maxed out. Very nearly. Nope, yeah, we are essentially maxed out. Don't zealots take one supply? No, they take two. What take what takes one supply? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We should gather our warriors and strike as one. Uh that that is what we're doing right now. And we are just rolling in and destroying the enemy here. It's amazing. Oh, let's get some guardian shields up. That would be useful right now. Warriors, fight with all you have, and the temple will be ours. Hear, hear, to glorious battle! Uh, those colossi are probably the biggest priority. Take those out, because they're destroying a lot of things. And then the carriers, because the Argo targeting system does not want to focus down carriers prioritizing interceptors which is not the best way to deal with them. So we want to take those out manually as soon as possible. And then of course, taking out pylons unpowers the enemy base, although it might be, not be worth going for it to run past all the cannons. Oh, what's happening? My screen just went black. Oh, that was my problem. <laughs> One of my key bindings for the computer. Never mind. Not the game's fault. I was afraid one of the achievements might be destroy every building, so I didn't want to destroy this uh, temple before checking because I know there's a pylon and a cannon down here we haven't destroyed. But that's not an achievement to worry about on this map. So we're fine. The way forward is clear at last. Yes, but the Taldarim are not known to take defeat lightly. They will come to rescue their High Lord and in force. Go, Zeratul. Find the answers you seek within the temple. Our blades shall grant you the time you need. You have my thanks, Talus. And Taro Tassadar. Adun Toridas, brother. I hope that's not like a sacrifice sort of a thing. I hope they can just like hold the front line for a while. All right, all the achievements got for Ghosts in the Fog on the Templar Ark. shall stand guard as you and your stalkers infiltrate the temple. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. Okay, so in the next episode, we will go infiltrate the temple and hopefully find the prophecy that is the will reveal the final key to the mystery of Amon. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Oh look, by like repeatedly spam clicking everything. I get monkeys. So I'm pretty sure that there's a monster back there. Oh, he's right there! Oh god, I ran the wrong way! I ran the wrong way! Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh, oops, see. Oh, I'm too tired, so I know. <laughs>